eternal inheritance. Greetings, I'm Ben Haran. Open and cry from my Bible, Psalms 45, 8 through 13. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion, slow to anger and of great mercy. The Lord is good to all and his tender mercies are over all his works. All, all your works shall praise your Lord and your saints shall bless you. They shall speak of the glory of your kingdom and talk of your power to make known the sons of men his mighty acts and the glorious majesty of his kingdom. Your kingdom is an everlasting kingdom and your domain endures throughout all generations. That's physical life on earth generation after generation with Abba in our hearts and the devil buried. Sinning ain't winning. Abba promised eternal life from the beginning. Let's look at Titus 1 and 2. In hope of eternal life, which God that cannot lie promised before the world began. Here on earth, it was made for a habitation. Deuteronomy 6, 24 and 25. And the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes and to fear the Lord our God for our good always, that he might preserve us alive as it is at this day. And it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments before the Lord our God, he has commanded us. Psalm 37, 9 and 29. Evil doers shall be cut off, but those waiting on the Lord, they shall inherit the earth. The righteous shall inherit the land and dwell therein forever. We must finish the work to bury the devil. I call the creep. So we can have everlasting life here on earth without him. Ezekiel 18, 27 through 30. Therefore I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways, says the Lord. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgressions, so inequity shall not be your ruin. Cast away all your transgressions whereby you have transgressed, and make you a new heart and a new spirit, for why should you die, O house of Israel? For I have no pleasure in death of him that dies, says the Lord God. Wherefore, turn yourselves and live. We must prepare a place for our Father, not just in our hearts. Exodus 15 and 3. The Lord is my strength and my song. He shall become my salvation. He is my God. I will prepare him a habitation. My Father's God, I will exalt him. Daniel 2 and 44. And in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom which shall never be destroyed, and the kingdom shall not be left to other people, but it shall be broken to pieces and consume all these kingdoms, and it shall stand forever. We must overcome to find the tree of life for healing the nations. We that receive eternal inheritance shall also receive eternal life. Later in the series, I shall show you how to overcome and the rewards people shall receive that do overcome. Let's go to Revelations 2 and 7. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. To him that overcome, I will give him to eat the tree of life, which is in the midst of the paradise of God. Deuteronomy 6. 24 and 25 and the Lord commanded us to do all these statutes to fear the Lord our God for our good always that he might preserve us alive as it is this day and it shall be our righteousness if we observe to do all these commandments 
before the Lord our God, he has commanded us. Let's go to Deuteronomy 7 and 9. Know therefore that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God, which keeps the covenant and mercy with them that love him and keeps his commandments to a thousand generations. Please go to israeliteadoption.org and go to 06-13 Eternal Inheritance. Go to 03-8 Remnant Saved and 03-9 Eternal Life. Thanks. I'll see you soon. Closing cry, Isaiah 45, 17 and 18. But Israel shall be saved in the Lord with an everlasting salvation, and you shall not be ashamed nor confounded world without end. For thus says the Lord that created the heavens, God himself that formed the earth and made it, and he established it, and he created it not in vain, he formed it to be inhabited. I am the Lord and there is none else. Eternal Inheritance 